In February this year, Telcom Kenya and Airtel Kenya announced a partnership that will see the two telcos merging their mobile enterprise and carrier services in Kenya through a joint venture company christened Airtel Telcom. As the two firms prepare for the merger, some positions have been rendered redundant. This has seen Telcom Kenya CEO Mugo Kibati through an internal memo in Farmtech through an internal memo informs staff that the firm has retrenched 575 employees. In the memo, Kibaki wrote, and I quote, in accordance with the provision of Section 40 of the Employment Act 2007, we have notified the Communication Workers Union, COU, and sent individualized letters to staff where applicable, as well as to the county labor offices, giving one month's notice with effect from July 31st, 2009, of our intention to terminate the employment of approximately 575 of our employees on account of redundancy as a result of the transaction. This was confirmed by Communication Workers Union boss Benson Okwaro who said the union which has over the last 10 months been in talks with Telcom Kenya about their retrenchment has scheduled talks with the management next week on exit packages for the affected workers. Okwaro in a telephone interview said Telcom Kenya had informed the union that the retrenchment would affect all job cadres including those in managerial positions. Kibati said some of those to be retrenched could be employed by Airtel Telcom. The Telcom CEO wrote, We have been notified of the JV Co's intent to offer employment to some of the redundant employees, subject to positions being available in the new organization and those individuals meeting the recruitment criteria.